Number 16, an 8 kilogram object is moving in the positive direction of an x-axis. When it passes through x equal to 0, a constant force directed along the axis begins to act on it. This figure over here gives its kinetic energy versus position x as it moves from x equals to 0 to x equals to 5 meters. Initial kinetic energy is 30 joules. The force continues to act. What is the speed when the object moves back through x equals to minus 3 meters? So we have an initial kinetic energy when x is equal to 0. So at this point, let's call the speed vo and we can see that when it reaches 5 meters the speed is 0 so we can try to find the acceleration remember that v squared is equal to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x so in this case we are analyzing from this point to this point over here so the final speed is 0 over here because the kinetic energy is zero so we can see that the low speed is zero as well so this term goes away remember that we want to find the acceleration over here so let's isolate it so the acceleration is equal to minus vo squared divided by two times delta x delta x we have as well it's five meters right and the initial velocity we don't have but we have the initial kinetic energy just remember that the kinetic energy is mass times the speed squared over 2. So VO squared is 2 times KO over M. So we can replace the value of VO squared by this over here. So we find that the acceleration is equal to minus 2 times ko over m divided by 2 times delta x and this is minus 2 times 30 over 8 times 1 over 2 times 5 this is equal to minus 60 over 8 divided by 10 and this gives us let's see the acceleration in this case it, it is equal to minus 0 0.75 meters per square second so now we know the acceleration and with the acceleration we can find the speed at this point over here so if we find the speed at this point we that's it that's all we have to calculate right so uh, okay so let's use the same equation again but this time we want to calculate the final speed the initial speed we know roughly we can use the same strategy as in here plus 2 times a delta x2 let's call it delta x2 because the now it's here it is a different value it's not 5 anymore so the final speed is equal to the square root of vo squared plus 2 times a delta x2 and this is equal to the square root of remember that vo squared is equal to 2 times ko over m which is 2 times 30 over 8 which is 60 over 8 plus 2 times minus 0 0.75 times minus 3 so if you do this calculation over here you would find let's see you would find the square root of 12 which is equal to roughly 3.5 meters per second so this is the, the final uh, speed of the object